Party dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another unboxing and transforming of a Transformers on Greener Venom. All right, I got a pretty cool Transformers for you here today. Well, in my opinion, I think this is a really cool Transformers. All right, I'm into kind of like ant science and the way the ants operate and how powerful ants can be and how smart they can be. So this is actually a pretty cool Transformers for me. In that sense, so what we got here today is a Predacon Inferno. It is a Legacy Voyager class Transformer. Super cool, man. This Transformers is actually cooler than I thought it was going to be. All right, for one reason. All right, and this is all opinionated. Now, side artwork before we get to that really cool part. Side artwork. See how the mouth is open here? All right, and just throwing that out there for a second. Side artwork is awesome. All right, check out side artwork over here. Pretty normal Legacy Series Transformers side artwork. Okay, this Transformers has 26 steps. So I should be able to barely handle that with my mass intellect. All right, Transformers more than meets the eye. Really cool deal. All right, so what we got here, we got a Transformers that transforms from a humanoid figure. Look at the arrows, right? It's, it's giving us a direction into an ant, a fire ant, right? Inferno. You ever bit, been bitten by a fire ant? I have. I have memories. When I was, you shouldn't really remember things in between one and, one and four, but one thing I do remember is, is standing on an ant hill. A fire ant hill and getting my ass lit up. Excuse my language. Here we go. We're moving along. All right. So let me show you the really cool thing. All right. Or I thought that was really cool. Look how the mouth is open right here. Now I was looking at this and I didn't think the mouth was going to open when I first bought it. Okay. Thought it was going to be kind of little, you know, cool and lame at the same time. But I went to messing with it, and holy smokes, this is a cool detail. Oh, man, for display purposes. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so this Transformers is already pretty detailed, and I haven't even pulled it out of the box yet. All right, so let's go ahead and, and pull him out of the box, close his mouth up. That is super cool. That is a really cool detail to put in there. I'm, I'm, let's get the safety scissors out. Yeah. I got it. One, cut you two. I'm gonna keep the box, just not in mint condition. Okay, yes. All right, pretty cool. All right, cameraman, do your job. Look, that looks pretty cool right there, right? I'm, it looks cool, okay. Not everybody's into, you know, ants. Not really into ants like that, all right, but Come on now, science is kind of awesome. All right. Got them out. Looking cool. Let's get the box to the side. Got the instruction manual. All right, let's see here. Supposed to look something like this in the humanoid form. So let's try to get them to that point. This is not a plastic free packaging transformers. I've had this one in inventory for a little while. Bump the cameraman a little bit. All right, I just, oop, almost cut his leg off. All right, I just really didn't do nothing with him. Got a lot of stuff going on. All right, I ended up actually getting a couple Transformers before this one and doing an unboxing and transforming video with those. All right, but I'm pretty excited to get this one going. Since I just recently, within the last 20 out, 24 hours, found out that you can open the mouth. Dude, that is freaking awesome. Okay. All right. Because, you know, you want to dip, be able, and by the way, without me realizing it, 10 out of 10 for standing up on its own rather easily right out of the box. All right. So I've never transformed this Transformers before, so y'all have to forgive me if I don't do it exactly correctly right away. 
But if you check out the shorts, all right, for this channel, usually I have them transformed correctly by then, all right? I don't expect anybody to pull something right out of the box and, and un just right away understand how it works, all right? This just, it just doesn't make sense unless you're a pure genius, and I am not that genius. This thing stands, oh man, for display purposes, I'm super impressed. I think this is how he's supposed to go like this. I don't I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how this little deal here is supposed to be. You know, why is in this humanoid mode? All right, maybe this comes over like this. All right. Just trying to pull him over here. Look, he's I'm busting him apart here a little bit. But anyway, we're gonna do the best we can at this moment and check them out. All right, in real life, this would be a pretty scary Transformers to run into. I'm just gonna say, kind of like a nightmare Transformers. All right, I'm I'm pretty impressed with this Transformers. The the, the mobility is awesome. You can you know, you can kind of just make them do whatever you want. Okay, and. I can really appreciate that for display purposes. I like to collect and I like to display. And believe it or not, it doesn't matter who they are or what they're interested in, if they would ever buy a Transformers or not. They really, people really love to see Transformers collections, okay? And so do I. All right, I like to be a, an old man kid. That's all there is to it. All right, doesn't really exist anymore. I mean, there is one in Macy's right now. If you look at the timestamp on this video, as of right now, there still is a Toys R Us, but it's just a little section in like a Macy's. Okay, so they are there. I am, and I want to be a Toys R Us kid. Okay, so what it looks like here, I'm looking at the instructions. This goes up like that. And this comes out kind of like this, I guess. All right, just for reference. Boom, right, boom. Or I want to kind of get it the same as the uh, the picture there almost, but he has the mouth closed. So whatever, humanoid form. There we go. Very detailed transformers. All right, let's, let's look at the, the little detail. Let's kind of give it a little spin around here. Humanoid form. So you can get a little gander at it, okay? Not exactly sure what they want me to do. Everything moves, it seems like. That's a really cool deal. It looks like they put a lot of, a lot of thought into this Transformers. Can really appreciate that. Okay. Pretty cool detail. Now, we're gonna move along and we're gonna transform him into an ant, a fire ant. So here we go. First things first. All right, I don't know what I'm looking at right now. First things first, can't tell what I'm looking at. I'm trying to look at something here in the instructions. I'm kind of confused on what they want me to do. Hmm. Weird business. Weird business. Yeah. Okay, 26 steps. 26 steps. So I put the weapon. No, I don't put the weapon in there, I guess. It shows something about putting the, like, the weapon right here. Like this in the instructions. I just <laughs> don't know why. All right, when you transform them into an ant, okay, there's like this first steps here. You got this, 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 and this, and then the weapon can go in there. I don't know what is that rocket powder, and then you can put it in his hand. I don't, I don't understand. I'm pretty sure it's gonna not be in there when we transform this transformers because it shows the weapon more towards right here. So we're gonna continue. 
All right, let's transform them into an ant. 26 steps. Hopefully I could turn it into 11. This is probably not gonna happen. Okay, the first thing you want me to do is this. Whoops. <laughs> right, you didn't see that. Okay, so what happened was, let's close this little jaw piece there. This comes up. It's gonna come out. Oh, wow. Cool jaws. Yeah. Come on out. Jaws. Okay. Jaws come out. Little little pincers. That's pretty awesome. Alright, pretty cool deal there already. Okay, bring this up. Like so. And then I guess we're gonna close the nugget. Move these little Little arms, the nugget over the nugget. This Transformers 2, I like to shine lights. So that's something, wait for the shorts. I got a couple Transformers, not a lot of them. They have this little, yeah, this little clear piece on the back, right? So what I'm going to do in the short videos is I'm going to shine a laser beam into the back of that nugget. And these eyes will light up really bright and cool i like the transformers that come like this the this captures light you don't have to use a laser it captures light all right if you have some light and it makes the eyes light up super cool more detail that's awesome on this transformers wow a lot of detail okay close the nugget over the nugget man this is a really cool Transformers. I'm pretty sure these are going to go up like that or something. But anyway, or like that, doesn't matter. Okay. We just need to get them transformed. All right. So we did that part, that part, that part. Got his nugget closed up. Now, we're going to come to the back here. All right. So it had this like this when I pulled it out of the box. It's asking me to do something like this. All right, once I've done that, now it's asking me to... I have no idea. Maybe like this, and like a this. I don't know. Trying to figure out what it wants me to do with the arm skis. It's kind of making me feel a little weird. All right, so what do you want me to do buddy it's all kind of twisty actions i just don't know what's going on here does this sink in like this and these come out like this now i don't even want to use the instructions because it's not it's not proven itself that good okay i'm kind of getting irritated i guess this goes this way this is gonna turn Alright, and then what? That turns. That's like that, and that's like that. Wait a minute, turn again? Okay, so if that's facing this way, these gotta face this way. I think I messed up a little bit. Pretty sure this is gonna, it's gonna come in here. I don't want to use the instructions now. It's kind of kind of a little irritating okay so we're gonna move an arm in oh there we go does that connect down in there or no i'm not sure what's going on here maybe this doesn't come up something's wrong i don't like it I know this connects into something. The legs. All right, a little lost. Just trying to go back to the beginning. This here. Why? I don't know. It's really weird. Okay, Inferno. Get it? You don't like me. Okay. So this has got to turn like this. Okay. This is like this. 
Got it. Turn this like this. This like this. Got it. But this is not turning. Maybe this like this. Or this like this. Does it go all the way up? Nope. Yep, not sure what it wants me to do. Good old instructions. Thanks, pal. It's uh, pretty weird right now. Pretty irritating. You know? Pretty good. Pretty good for instructions. I mean, I can kind of see what you want me to do. But, uh... You're not letting me do it. You know, this arm just doesn't make sense right now. I guess that can make sense. Oh gosh. Why? I have no idea why, but here we are. This goes inside. Okay, it's making a little more sense now. I need to push that in, inside. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Try to follow instructions. So this goes in here, like this. Yeah, pretty bad. All right, this one goes. Where are you at? Okay, I get it now. You're gonna do it. Okay. There we are. Two pieces sticking together right there. Now it's starting to make a little bit of sense. Come on, buddy. You need to turn in, turn out, go in, clip together there. Okay, perfect. No. Come on, pal. I can see where you want to go together. You're not doing it. Yep. There we go. Closer to success. There it is. Bring these legs out. All right. I ain't holding it against nobody that can't kind of understand these transformers instructions. All right. A lot of times the cool part about doing Transformers is trying to figure it out without the instructions. That's the cool part. All right, little fingers go inside those holes. I'm trying to put the fingers, little thumb, in the slot. All right, there we are. Whoo, 26 steps, right? Let's turn it into 326 steps. Come on. All right, so this goes up in like this. I'm pretty sure. I think so. Oops, what am I doing? Okay, out of there. I know you gotta go up in there. I see, I see a little slot, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna shove that guy in that slot. Come on, pal. Why, why are you not? Cooperating. You want to cooperate this way or do you want to cooperate that way? I have no idea what you want to do right now, buddy. But you should be going into place. Okay, let's pull this out. Wow. This Transformers is beating me to smithereens. Okay, there's that. This part. What is it? Just hang like this? Ah, oh, maybe legs going in. I don't know. Okay, let's let's open it up a little bit. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, there we are. There we got that. All right, if we're looking at it, this way. Okay, like that. I just can't tell how it wants me to put this up into place. This is one of those transformers. It's 
Kind of annoying. Come on, dude. Okay, so we come out. This comes like that. This is not coming around into place. It is not doing it. It is supposed to do it. Dude, come on. You're supposed to snap down into that and you're not. What's going on here? Okay, so we got that. Moves like this. Moves like this. And it's supposed to snap in right here. It's not letting me do it. There it is. Oh man, I feel like I'm going to break it. This is going to turn into a 30 minute skit, man. There we go. It's really, really kind of complicated. Okay, so I guess this goes together here. All right. Usually the animal transformers are kind of like, you know, insects transformers or whatever. They're a little, they are a little difficult. All right, so we have this. Come down. Whoops. Dude. Kiyama. Alright, so what you want me to do... Bro, I have no idea. I mean, come on. Does this come around? It doesn't come around. It doesn't... Um... Okay, so we got that. We got that. Okay. I see what it wants me to do now. Oh, gosh. Okay. Can you pull out? Yeah. All right. So it pulls out. Does that. Um, that, I guess. Pull this down. Does that. And then it comes together. Holy smokes. What kind of Transformers action deal I got going on here? All right. So once we've done that. Okay. So this is going to be up still. I'm switching it around too early. All right. Don't switch it around. I don't know. But it looks like now we're going to come over the legs like this, I guess, okay, oh, I see it now, just not all the way there where we should be, because I think this has got to come down some more, and it's not, I'm having troubles with this part, not going into place right now, so I'm giving this transformers right now, not the highest of reviews. You need to go into place, buddy. And just make it a little easier for my old man hands, please. Oh, there we go, a little better. Okay, so that should allow this to come together. Okay, and here we go. It's getting a little closer right there. You see that little point right there? Getting a little closer. All right. This is kind of a, kind of a piece to work with here. Okay, right, so that goes into there. That goes there. Little snapping points everywhere. Man. I was thinking that one piece was gonna come under here, you know, to kind of cover more, but does not. Yes, it goes like that. Wow. 24 minutes later and it's jacked up. Okay, here we go. Let's get these pincers into place. All right, about time. Not perfect. This is not a uh, transformer for the beginner. 
You might get a little angry, as I am right now, because it doesn't want to stay snapped into place. But not mad, user error. I'm pretty sure if I transform this thing 25 times in a row, it won't be a big deal. All right, so satisfied at the moment. Now let me try to get him to where he's standing up. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Get some. Oh man, yes. I finally made it. And that is awesome. Let's get his little weapon goes on, his nugget. Where they have it, not on his nugget, but his little center section there like this. Drop off some bombs. Okay. Woo! Made it. Made it. See what I mean? The instructions right here. I really thought that piece was going to spin around and cover his whole abdomen, but it does. It just does not. All right, that's fine. Anyway, Predacon Inferno, super cool. All right, we're going to get the cameraman to give us a little, little close-up while we're, there we are. Inferno. Man, look at that. Still pretty detailed, still pretty cool, you know. I really like that sticking out and whatnot, but whatever. It's a big Transformers. It's a really cool Transformers. All right, they did, the designers or the engineers did spend a good amount of time on this Transformers, all right, when they probably didn't have to, okay? Everything moves, and that's really cool. All right, it also makes it difficult to transform, all right? Any Transformers would be pretty difficult to transform, when they got a lot of moving parts, all right? But that's just the fun, all right? That's the puzzle in the Transformers. You really enjoy Transformers and you really enjoy the puzzle. That's what that's what it's all about for me, all right? I don't know what it is for you, but I like the puzzle, I like the characters, and I like to display them, all right? That is what it is. All righty, dudes and dudettes, man, check it out. Might not be 100%, but I'm happy. All right, really cool Transformers. If you made it this far into the video, I'd really like it if you would uh, share this video, subscribe, and hit the little like button there. That would be really cool. Really cool of you. Hardy dudes and dudettes. I'm going to give this Transformers ultimately a 10 out of 10. A lot of user error, I'm pretty sure. It's all good. It's probably, you know, this transform is a little bit more advanced for me at the moment. Like I said, if I transformed it 25 times, it wouldn't be a problem. But this is the first time transform it. So I really appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, transform!